whole system, the energy production and consumption have to be balanced in real time. Due to the complexity at the end-user side, this has to be done by extensive use of digitalization and artificial intelligence, and the flexibility is activated by the use of IoT devices and control. For power system, batteries are often suggested to help with the balancing. However, for large-scale energy storage, batteries do not provide a cost-efficient solution. Here, power to X solutions like power to gas and power to heat are essential. In essence, sector coupling at all levels of the energy system is instrumental for achieving the needed flexibility. Consequently, digitalization, which means data, communication, optimization, models, forecasting control, AI, IoT, etc., is required to unlock the needed flexibility for the future near fossil free energy system. This also calls for new digitalized markets and a setup consisting of a hierarchy of controllers at the lower level that means near the customer and the consumers. In general, these methods are based on data intelligence obtained by AI as explained in lesson number five. And the need response and the edge users is activated by the use of controllers rather than market clearings. The concept of scales become important to understand how to design future energy systems. Ultimately, the purpose of the future smart energy system is to establish a connection between the appliance operating at local scales and high-level long-term markets operating at large scales. Essentially, a spectrum of all relevant spatial aggregation levels from buildings, districts, city, regions, country, etc. have to be considered. At the same time, control or market solutions must ensure that the power system is balanced at all future temporal scales. Consequently, data intelligence solutions for operating flexible electrical energy systems have to be implemented on all spatial and temporal scales. To address these issues, several solutions have been proposed in the literature in recent years. Some major solutions are transactive energy, peer-to-peer -peer, and control-based solutions. However, some of these solutions call for rather complicated contracts between an aggregator and the end users. And this is often seen as a barrier for activating flexibility at the end-user side. Traditionally, power systems are operated by sending bids to a market. However, in order to balance the systems on all relevant horizons, several markets are used. Examples are day ahead, intraday, balancing and regulation markets. The bids are typically static, and consists of, for instance, a volume and a duration. However, we believe that we need a disruption related to the principle for activating low-level flexibility. Given the bits, the so-called supply and demand curve for all the operating horizons can be found. Mathematically, these supply and demand curves are static and deterministic. Merit order dispatch is then used to optimize the cost of generation. However, if the production is from wind and solar power, then the supply curve must be stochastic. And as explained in lesson number five, the demand flexibility has to be described dynamically by the introduced flexibility function. Consequently, we need to introduce new digitalized markets which are both dynamic and stochastic. And instead of using a large number of markets for different purposes, like for instance, frequency, voltage and congestion, and on different horizons, we will suggest to use concepts based on the flexibility function and stochastic control theory. For simplicity, we call this a smart energy operating system, SEOS. If we zoom out in space and time, 
and for instance consider the load in a very large area on a horizon of days or maybe next day. Then both the dynamics and stochasticity can be eliminated and hence we can use conventional market principles. However, if we zoom in on higher temporal and spatial resolutions, like for instance a building, then the dynamics and stochasticity becomes important and consequently we'll suggest to use the control-based methods for the flexibility which we introduced in lesson number five. This consists of, for instance, model predictive controllers operating at the lower level and purpose-based control operating on a higher level. For instance, one controller for voltage, which leads to a fraction of the final end user price. The total setup consists of a combination of all these options and the best option depends on the zoom level. The conclusion is that we need new digitalized market principles which operates as a hierarchy of conventional market-based bidding and clearing principles on the higher level and control-based approaches on the lower level. All these principles for forecasting, control and optimization are included in the so-called Smart ND operating system, which is used to develop, implement and test solutions including all the needed layers, namely data models, data optimization, control, communication, for operating flexible ND system at all scales. These principles, including the Smart ND OS, are the backbone of a new digitalization center for smart energy systems called Center Denmark. Center Denmark is established as a non-profit and independent organization working to promote development of digitally integrated energy systems in order to enhance the transition to a close to 100% fossil free energy system. In Denmark, roughly 50% of the power production is from fluctuating renewables as of now, that is in 2019. Utilizing the real-time data empowered by intelligent AI puts us in a great position to harvest energy flexibility with the least investments compared to supergrids and stationary storage solutions. That requires huge investments. This is why in a next step we aim at building the foundation of a European Silicon Valley to promote research, education, innovation, testing and demonstration of intelligent energy system in places and initiatives such as Center Denmark. As explained in lesson number four, the existing regulatory framework is one of the main barriers for the green transition. At the new setup, we will facilitate a development and testing of regulatory conditions which aim at accelerating the green transition. It is rather urgent. Thank you.